Last week, we went over multiplication and division with fractions and mixed numbers. And we saw that that was maybe, for me, in my opinion, it's easier than addition and subtraction of mixed numbers. However, that might not be everybody's opinion, and that's fine. But what we're going to learn today is how to make your life easier when it comes to multiplying and dividing fractions and mixed numbers. So, how would you like to make your life easier? That sounds good, right? Everybody likes easy. Well, this is going to help you make your life tons easier. So let's get started and take a look. And for my for my parents out there that real that realize, yes, that was my sales pitch. I was a I have a bachelor's in sales management. So are you buying what I'm selling? I hope so. All right, let's get started. So let's take a pretty basic fraction, such as one half. We're going to multiply it by 4 over 5. Now, just so I can show you that this works out. See, we've got 1 half times 4 over 5. Just so I can show you that this works out the same, let's... Let's do it the, the long way, or the traditional way, if you will. So when we're multiplying fractions, all we do is we multiply straight across. 1 times 4 is 4. And on the bottom, 2 times 5 is 10. So when we multiply 1 half times 4 fifths, we get 4 over 10. That's pretty simple. But we're not done. And this is why what I'm going to show you is going to help you so much. 4 over 10 can be simplified. Well, first, they're both even numbers. So that means they can be simplified by 2. So if we divide 4 on top by 2, we get 4 divided by 2 is 2. And 10 divided by 2 is 5. So we get 2 over 5. As you can see right there, 2 over 5. Now just so we can compare, let's write the same problem. And we're going to compare what we did and see if we get the right answer. All right. So at the bottom, we've got one, one half times four fifths. Same as on the top. We're just going to do it a different way and see if we get the right answer. And that different way is going to be called cross cancellation or cross canceling. Okay, so what we're going to do is we see four and two are both even which means they can both be divided by 2. So if we divide 2 by 2, we get 1. And if we divide 4 by 2, we get 2. Now all we do is multiply straight across. 1 times 2 is 2. And, five and 1 times 5 is 5. So as you can see, we got the same answer both times. The only difference is we skipped a, a step in this problem. In the, the top problem, we have two steps. In the bottom problem, we have one step. So this is going to save you a little bit of time and a little bit of hassle. Now... Why do we why do we use cross cancellation? Well, the simplest explanation that I can give you is cross cancellation helps us to cancel those those big numbers. So we're not doing 
72 times 13, we're, we're, we're able to cancel that out and we can work with smaller numbers. So let me show you an example of why, of what I'm talking about when I say, so we're not working with big numbers. So we're going to do some mixed numbers. And I'm going to show you why cross cancellation comes in handy times I'll make sure that I can cross that I can cross cancel because I'm just kind of making one up here. All right. So two and one half times five and one fourth. Now, as you may recall from our previous videos from last week, the way we convert a mixed number into an improper fraction is we multiply at the bottom and add at the top. So we mult multiply two times two and add the one, like so. So two times two is four, plus one is five. Now we're going to keep your number on the bottom. So we're gonna keep the two times. So we're gonna do that to the next, to the next mixed number. Five times four is 20. 20 plus one is 21. We're going to put 21 on top and keep the, keep the 4 on the bottom. Now, as you can tell, unfortunately, I wasn't able to do anything cross-canceling wise with this problem. And there will be times that you can't. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can. So let's go ahead and solve this problem just, just for practice. 5 times 21 is 105. And 2 times 4 is 8. So we've got 105 over 8, which is an improper fraction that we need to convert back into a mixed number. So we, we put 105 under the house and we have 8 on the outside. So 8 goes in 10 once and eight and um, we have 2 left over. So 8 goes into 25 three times and we have 1 left over and we put that over our denominator. So our answer to this problem is 13 and 1 8, as you can see that right there. I'm I'm not used to I'm not used to working with a small board, and um, I just I'm I'm trying I'm trying to make it so you can see, and I'm trying to make it so I'm not hurting my arm when when I'm when I'm doing this when I'm teaching. So let so. I'm I'm going to I'm going to make up a problem not mixed numbers that's going to show you the importance of cross canceling. So we have 32 over 3 times no, times 15 over 2 so we have 32 over 3 times 15 over 2 now just for you math people that 
look at this and say, well, these are both improper fractions. Let's make them into mixed numbers. Okay, so let's make them into mixed numbers. Pra practice never hurt anybody. So 32 divided by 3, 3 goes into 30 10 times with 2 left over. times 2 goes into 15 7 times with 1 left over so the way this problem would look if it were mixed numbers that were multiplied by each other this problem would look like this 10 and 2 thirds times 7 and 1 half but that was just for our knowledge we can't work with it like that. Okay, we've got to work with it as the mixed number. And the reason I'm doing this is so I can show you how cross cancellation helps you. So I'm just going to go ahead and erase my mixed numbers. Okay, so on top you have 32 times 15. Now, if you don't want to do 32 times 15, this is where cross cancellation is going to help you. However, I'm going to do it both ways so, so that way you can see that we're going to get the same answer both times. So 32 times 15, we're going to do some side work. 32 times 15, 0 carry the 1, 16, 2, 3, 480. So we've got 480 over 6. Okay, I need to erase my side work because my board's not really big enough here. Okay, and if we divide 6 into 480, we get 8. we get 80. So I'm, I'm not exactly sure if that's right, but I'm going to show you another method to do it. Okay, 32 over 3. Actually, that sounds like a huge number, 80. However, I'm going to show you a way to um, do this that's simpler and that'll help you to get the right answer because the more steps the bigger numbers the harder it is to get the right answer so so here here's our other problem and here's what we're going to do here's the cross cancellation step so we're going to look at both sides 3 and 15 they both have a 3 in common so 3 goes into 3 one time, and 3 goes into 15 five times. So <coughs> here's where we are. And as you can see, we've already got less work on ourselves. However, we can take it a step further. 2 and 32 are both even, so they both have a 2 in common. So 2 goes into 2 one time. And 2 goes into 32 16 times. Now, as you can see, we're, we're, we're at a step that's way easier. So now all we're going to do, we're going to do 1 times 1 on the bottom, if you want because 1 times 1 is 1, 
And as we know, on the bottom of any whole number is a 1. 16 times 5. So, 16 times 5 is still a pretty big number, unfortunately. But it's a whole lot easier than doing 32 times 15. 16 times 5 is 80. So 80 over 1 equals just 80. So as you can see, we got 80 on the bottom and on the top. The bottom, we made things easier on ourselves. We skipped a step and we cross canceled. The top, we just did it normally. Then we divided it out and got 80. Both ways are correct. Both ways are fine. Either way that you want to do it, you do it. But I just want you to know that there is a way out there that will make things easier on you. And hey, who doesn't like easy, right? All right, so I'm Mr. Betty. We'll talk more next time. We'll look at division of fractions. So until next time, guys, peace.